Chapter 238 of Jujutsu Kaisen proves one thing and one thing only, and that I was right from the very beginning. Kashimo fans are in tears. Jujutsu Kaisen fans, if you are prepared to be disappointed, tune in for these spoilers. Be sure to drop a like and let me know in the comments section your favorite part from these spoilers because it takes a lot of effort and time and a like only takes a moment. Anyways, let's get right into it. I cannot believe this. We have a Sukuna simp fighting against Sukuna. Kashimo starts off the chapter observing Sukuna in his transform stage and says he is perfection. Beautiful. He wants the digits. We realize now that Sukuna now has four arms and two mouths so he can continuously chant and weave his signs. So basically, you're going to be catching the hands and running the fate at the same time. Sukuna essentially is talking out the side of his mouth at all times during this fight. And I'm not talking about my wife when she's mad at me for doing something stupid. <laughs> Get a little bit of Sukuna lore. Sukuna finished off the five void generals, Sun and Moon Star squad of the North Fujiwara clan, made the Dishin squad look like a bunch of ducks, and the Sugawara clan and Angels clan from the Abe clan had to retreat from him. So basically he's got like a very extensive record of people he's beat. Kashimo, if anything, is putting a lot more respect on him than Gojo. I'll give him one thing. He's not coming in here cocky, talking smack. He knows that he is the challenger. Now, that being said, I definitely think we're going to see Gojo quicker than I thought beforehand. And if you want to know why, stick around towards the end of the video because I'll be covering that later. Without skipping a beat, Sukuna immediately starts blasting off attacks like he's a cops in the hood and tells Kashimo, hey, bro, you're going to want to dodge these attacks. You, you talk about Gojo and his infinite void and how you can't avoid it. Hey, you will not be avoiding these hands. Oh, my gosh. Sukuna, I'll give him one bit of credit. He can put on a show. He's a very, very enjoyable person to watch fight. He's warning his opponent. He's trying to give him those opportunities to catch a dub. It doesn't really matter, though, because, I mean, it, the, the difference in experience and strength, I definitely just don't see Kashimo putting up much of a fight at all, which, spoiler alert, in these spoilers, you're about to see just why here. Kashimo observing, I guess, as much as he can, the attack says that, hey, this is what did in Gojo, right? And I guess he's preparing to dodge or something he's able to maneuver out of the way for it long enough and some for some reason sukun is letting this dude monologue a lot further than before he starts asking him about love and and kindness and happiness i just don't get it we don't care about any flashback stories we just want to see this fade he called this the slash that cuts the world so if gojo did get taken out by this and we're taking this literally then this must be an armor piercing attack of the highest feet i want to see more of that less of this love story nonsense you're dodging one measly attack sukun decides hey i'm gonna let this gotta take a break. He gotta catch his breath. Kashimo's pack is basically volunteer at this point. I won't even say it's free. He's giving you the, the, the value from his own pack. He's like, hey, someone once tried to teach me love and that was kind of stupid. I don't really get the concept of it. Uh, she probably should have taught it to someone like G Gojo or, or you, Kashimo. You seem like a lovey-dovey, hippy-dippy type. You know, I'm, I'm just not with any of that. I don't care. I'm only here to cause this destruction and humans are just interesting enough for me to be around and enjoy them while I'm alive. Kashimo discusses whether or not Sukuna was dissatisfied in his last world, and which is why he brought himself back in the first place, which Sukuna retorts, eh, who cares? I just need some entertainment. He then prepares to finish him off and slings out a net, a plethora of dismantled slashes, all for Kashimo. Kashimo's pack is so volunteer at this point, it is laughable. To speak on that for a minute, Gojo's definitely going to be coming back here, y'all. I'm absolutely confident. The way Kashimo comes in and immediately gets packed, imagine if this was a, an anime adaptation. This will basically be the, the same episode where the main character get, gets knocked down. Ichigo's knocked down by Okiyori, and who jumps in? Uryu to back him up. This guy gets immediately folded. We cannot allow this to be the last person. It, it, it's evident that Gojo's going to have to make a return at some point. Back to the chapter, we cut away, and I guess we're in some internal world or whatever. I, I don't get it, but Kashimo is getting lectured by Sukuna talking to him about the, the, the pressures of being the strongest and why you are loved because you are the strongest, not in spite of being the strongest. It's a ridiculous notion. He also mentions how Kashimo clearly had numerous visitors during his day and how he stepped to them and challenged them and took their lives. And if that wasn't mercy, then you know what is? What else can there be but the final respect you can pay an opponent by finishing them off, by testing yourself to the extent of your abilities? And to that end, all right, Sukuna, you're a fraud. You jumped Gojo. But I'll give you some respect. You know, he he's definitely being painted in a different light with more of a connectability. He's still awful. He's still a villain. And, and he's been, you know, sticking to that from the beginning. But he's definitely more evolved now. And I respect that. Maybe the influence of the Jujutsu Kaisen Sorcerers is doing something to him. As we reach the final panel of the chapter, we see Higuruma and our boy Itadori Yuji pulling up. And Itadori's got them claw hands on. And he's biting himself. So... I don't really know what's going on here, but I'm pretty excited to see Itadori's got to have some type of plan. Honestly, I'm seeing this as like a Hail Mary. Everyone's jumping in at Tsukuna. 
and they're all getting folded at once. But we'll see what happens. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the chapter. And if you want to see more Jujutsu Kaisen, because I am hyped. Thanks for watching.